what's up gang i'm back <laughs> happy saturday i hope everyone is blessed and doing well and protected out here in these streets i love y'all so much thank you so much for all y'all support y'all have been showing out first and foremost i hope y'all been checking them tracking numbers because mama magical definitely surprised y'all i wanted to give back to my gang i love y'all so much for all the love that y'all showed me so i just wanted to surprise y'all and drop them cards that mama magical magical mama excuse me oracle decks in the mail for y'all two months before the release date so shout out to y'all that was just my gift for all those who believed in me that much that they actually pre-ordered a deck that is not even set out to come out up till january 2023 that is next year so i love y'all so much it's not too late for those who have i think those who are about to order okay it's not too late definitely go to my website to pre-order my deck this is my special very first deck that i had have dedicated especially for my game i love y'all so much so make sure y'all get one like i said you can go to my website at www.magicalflowersterro.com all those who are also new that would like a reading from me that is the way that you can also get in contact with me so make sure y'all get y'all mama magical magical mama oracle decks um shout out to all my new members welcome to the gang make sure that you continue to subscribe um like share comment you can definitely give me your ad, your input um your requests your questions you can also reach me for anything that pertains to either one of my youtube channels magical flowers cold case zero and magical flowers zero at yahoo dot magical flowers zero yahoo.com so let's get into this reading this is gonna be really quick gang this is the energy between ray j princess love brandy let's see what the fuck is let's see what is going on with these people y'all i didn't even know none of this y'all been hitting me up talking about did y'all see what happened between you know uh ray j wanting to commit the s word brandy being admitted to the hospital y'all feel like it might be the curse of the kardashians make sure y'all check out my other kardashian um readings that i have done in the past as well they're really good so just make sure y'all check them out but we gonna see y'all. We gonna see y'all. Want to know if this is also tied to the death of Whit uh, Whitney Houston? Okay, so let's get into this reading real quick. Y'all already know how I do. I'm gonna use um, the Magical Mama Oracle deck just to see the energies that come up between these parties before I get into y'all specific questions. I want to see what Spirit has to say. Show the energies between Ray J, Brandy, Princess Love, Kim Kardashian, and the untimely death of Whitney Houston. Show us the energies that surround these people at this present and current time in their lives. What is the energy that surrounds them? This particular group of people. This particular group of people. Brandy, Princess, Brandy, 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 Brandy. A fucking liar. Mm. So this is strong to come out. <laughs> it says you are getting lied to or you are the liar. Mm. Come through spirit. What else we need to know? Magic. Mm. Use your magic. Get creative. Magic is within. So mm. y'all see what it is. Magic done fell out. Initiate. Time to take the lead. It's all on you. So somebody to me initiated some type of magic. Some type of spiritual energy. Look at this. Sex. Spicy energy, sexual, horny, or freaky as hell. So we got a fucking liar and then we got sex. So I know what y'all thinking. Was this tied to that sex tape? Hmm. Interesting, right? And then we got soulmate. Hmm. Divine love, past life connection, unconditional. So I wonder who is that for months. So some may come out, y'all. May happen next month or in a few months. So keep your eyes open because when I be telling y'all stuff, it usually come to pass. Uh, more so than not energy so we got some energy mm. these are some interesting cards right look deeply take a very good look at the situation there is more you should know read between the lines magic a fucking liar something gonna come out in some months maybe a month time maybe three weeks family check mm. Check in with your immediate family, distance, or close. So they both is going through something, the siblings, Ray J and Brandy. So, hmm, it needs to be a check within the immediate family. But this, in, this energy, 
might have something to do with the particular family. So I'm going to let y'all use your intuition, especially with this magic and this initiation of something. Happiness. Shot. Mm, brace yourself. Shit is about to get real. I told y'all something is getting ready to come up. We got that in the months card. Right under magic and family. Shock, look deeply. Let me just pull a couple more. Children, mm, a child needs your help or pay attention. Or attention, I'm sorry. Pregnant, but that's reversed. So we'll see. Spirit. So we got magic spirits initiating family. I want y'all to pay attention. We got manifesting. Oh, like my cards went out. Responsibility. I mean, my light went out. And toxic as fuck. Abusive. Vacation. Delusional. So we gonna, um, let me light my candle back. We're going to see how this all plays out. Once we get to the tarot deck. Let's see if we can get a little bit more detail as we get into y'all questions. So once again, thank y'all for supporting me. And make sure y'all get y'all uh, <laughs> Magical Mama Oracle deck. So let's get into y'all questions. Here, what is the energy that specifically surrounds Ray J? Ray J, Ray J, Ray J. Spear, what is the energy that surrounds Ray J at this time? Because it looks like he is going through it, y'all. Ray J, Ray J, Ray J. Ma mm, the magician. Now, remember how we got magic cards? before and a fucking liar delusional making something making one thing look like something else and remember the card said look deeply family ten of pentacles ace of swords reverse so there is lies and manipulation around this man eight of cups something from the past something that's something someone can't let go of something Eight of Cups, that's that energy. That's what that energy represents to me, usually when I see it reversed. Something in the past, something can't be let go. And it was over some years ago, and this is a Ten of Pentacles, so it's people that's close to you. In the Magician card, let's see what else come out. The Fool. Mm. A new beginning for him, too. And that's interesting because we're seeing shock. Something might happen in the next couple of months. The fool. We'll see. They go highly weird again. The higher friend reverse. Guilt, shame, regret. Can't sleep at night. Extreme paranoia. Extreme mental energy energy that surrounds this person. So we already seen him have his breakdown. We seen the results of this nine of swords. We're seeing that play out now. Lies. Suffering from lies. Something from the past in the family. We got the hot. Look how the high refined, just pay attention, y'all. The high refined reverse underneath this family card, Ten of Pentacles, with a family. Family came out before. And the Magical Mama Oracle deck, the high refined reverse. Like I said, we on this channel, this is highly weird when we're talking about celebrities, but it also still makes sense for the cards that fail the energies because the high refined, like I said, talks about morals, principles, family, family again um tradition um very conventional type of energy but when it's reverse that means you're probably unmoral Pin principles have been broken integrity um things like that especially when it comes to family 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 we're getting family twice we got family three times death mm. then he threatened to commit the s word unhappy red flags depression nine of swords this is the energy that surround the offset I'm saying offset. I'm still thinking about the last reading. Um, six of Pentacles. Money. Money being stolen. Money being taken away. Someone not giving. Six of Pentacles. Holding something back. So this is the energy. Three of Cups. Bad company. Heartbreak. Betrayal. Page of Pentacles. Lost out on money. Investments. Things. Fighting. Mm, this is some deep energy that's around this man. Three of Pentacles. Co-workers working with someone and it did not work. So y'all see these energies. This is some deep energy, especially with this nine of swords. This man is going around a lot. I'm going to have to cleanse myself after <laughs> this reading. Three of cups reverse. Being drug. I don't know why I want to say being drugged. The death card too. So this is just the energies that's surrounding Ray J. <laughs> so 
So we're going to pray for Ray J. I feel like Ray J, my spirit is telling me, Ray J, um, he's the keeper of a lot of secrets. Spirit is saying secrets to me. He's the keeper of a lot of secrets. He is the key to a lot of things. He is the door to a lot of things. It's, this shit is deeper. I'm seeing a lot of blackness around him. This shit is deeper than what y'all think. Show me the energy surrounding Brandy. Because I heard that she is in the hospital. Lies. This was getting ready to fall out of my hand. King of Swords. So more lies. That's a lot of coldness between that family. Between the two of them particularly. Show me the energy that's around Brandy Norwood. Brandy Norwood. Family again. Years of going through things in her family. Ten of Pentacles. Years. Boundaries. It's like she tried to set her apart, herself apart from a lot of that judgment reverse. Mm. That speaks about character, bad choices to me. Four of Cups, it says over it, reverse. But it's like this person. It's like she just can't break free from something. I'm hearing she can't break free. The Chariot, even though she tries. Six of Pentacles. It got more money. Six of Pentacles reverse. People not getting. So it's in like finances is a big theme around her too. Six of Wands. But this is Brandy. This is her energy. She is the sweetheart um, as of the industry as people like to look at her. She's always had a very innocent energy um, as she portrays to the world. Um, people just, she's a good girl, Brandy. So this is how, this is why I got, like I said earlier, it's like she had to put boundaries up. She had to really try to separate herself from the bullshit and the rest of her things, the rest of the things that were surrounded around her family, the Norwoods, Judgment Reverse. So she always tried to like rise above that. But this is years of stress on her from her family, particularly. And there it go, the devil. <laughs> Y'all see what time it is. Drugs, addiction. Like I said, I kept feeling that. The moon. There we go. Dark black magic. The devil. Right next to the devil. This is black magic. This is dark energies, addictions. <sighs> Things like that. She's weak. Strength reverse. Change is coming. Unfortunate situations. Like I said, just more cold energy. Fighting. Stress between people. Mm, five of cups talks about regret shame guilt that's why this person is holding that turning their back and it's something from the past like i said ten of pentacles this is years she's a secret keeper too her and ray j they've been in this game for a long time they know a lot and brandy has tried so hard to separate herself six of wands from those things but we got this devil so it's like she's binded like i said she can't it's like it's hard for her to break away queen of cups things are taking a toll on her spiritually queen of cups okay so y'all asked me about ray j's wife um, I don't know if they divorced, whatever, princess love. But apparently she's dating someone allegedly named Bear. So y'all want to know the energy between... Let me go to my love deck for that. I see the energy between princess love and Bear. I don't know if this is still rumor, if this has been confirmed. I'm going to just say, see what spirit has to say about these two particularly in the energy between princess love and bear princess love princess love princess love and bear here show me the energy between princess love and bear No contact. It's reversed though, so that's interesting. Distracted. Scared. Mm. A scare energy between them. So it's like we got no contact, but it's reversed. So I feel like this talks about something just being under wraps because there is some somebody's afraid. And then I see that red right there. Earth sign. Contemplation. So this is representing princess to me. Um, she's in deep thought about something here. 
That's interesting. Mm. She's contemplating a single parent. That's the contemplation. Move on. Break away. I'm going to be a single mother. I'm scared of that. And then we got this earth sign. So she's been in her head hard about the situation. Movement, but it's reverse. Being stuck in a situation. Finances. Financially strapped. Strap, nine committal. So she commits them. So... I don't think that if they are talking, it, it's not serious, at least not yet. We got the non-committal energy, codependency, hurting. So, yeah, this is not a good foundation. Relationships reverse, family-oriented reverse, attraction. So, this is lust. I want you. Mm. So, it looks like they've been spending some type of quality time. This is at the bottom of the deck. So, something was planned. Mm, chemistry. And I didn't even mean to pull this card out. So it's something there, but it's just not in the forefront yet. It's not out there yet because she got a lot to consider, especially being tied to them Norwoods. She got a lot to consider. This is one of them, single parent. <laughs> Finances. So I don't know, y'all. We going to see. Okay, so let's go back to Ray J um, and Kemp. Y'all want to know, I guess it was some, something was said allegedly about Ray J and Kim. Supposedly, allegedly, Kim was stealing some type of money from Ray J. Spirit, show us the energy between Kim and Ray J. Did Kim ever steal X amount of money from Ray J? Did Kim Kardashian ever steal money from Ray J? Did she ever steal money from Ray J? a mess between the two of them money ace of pentacles binded up money stop him from getting money it looked like too then we got the tower the ten of wands and then we got the three of wands reverse to a pentacle more money sacrifice sneakiness deception well there it is lies being told queen of wands reverse Queen of Wands, when she reversed, this bitch is ruthless. They got that family card again, Ten of Cups. Highly weird, reverse. The mother. Mm, let me find out that this is uh, <laughs> Kim's mother. The star. This is Kim. Because she became, oh, my, my candle keep going out. She became the biggest star between the two of them in front of the world. No matter how she got there, she did it. Let me put my candle. You like my candle. So we got the, the sneakiness, the deception. We got them pentacle cards. Ace of Pentacles reverse. That talks about lost opportunities, particularly around career and money and investments. Lies being told on someone. Eight of Swords reverse. This person looks stuck, mounted up. They can't move. The Tower. And three of wands three of wands is the manifestation card but it's reverse your manifest <laughs> whatever you're trying to manifest is not happening it's like ray j just kept trying to pop off kept trying to create an open lane for himself but nothing could get him to where he really wanted to be in his career because of lies being told opportunities being missed so i'm gonna let y'all put that one together okay so energy between ray j mm, what was Ray J's energy when it came to Whitney Houston's death? Show us his energy surrounding Whitney Houston's untimely death. And then we're going to cut it off here because I told y'all I can't be doing no, um, <laughs> no channeling, no mediumship, I would say, for the next couple months. Mm. This card trying to come out. What is it? King of Wands. Taking action. 
the end of someone. Death, Ten of Swords represents death too, ending someone. Something happened. Eight of Cups reversed. So this is still on him. This still haunts Ray J. Eight of Cups next to the Ten of Swords. The Empress, that's Whitney Houston. See how this all tied together? King of Pentacles. I feel like that's Ray J. Knight of Cups. So this is talking about that relationship. Mm. There. I'm off. There it go. I knew it was coming. Look at that blood. Deep, deep guilt, shame, regret from the past. I told y'all. And then with Eight of Cups, the past. Britney's spirit is still on Ray J. Strong. That's all I'm going to say. Like I said, I cannot get too deep. Mm. Hmm, misfortune, bad luck, bad timing. The lovers reverse. Okay, I'm gonna end this, y'all, because like I said, I can't, I can't tap into that right now. Um, but y'all see what it is. My spirits be very straightforward. I love y'all guys. Thank you so much for supporting me, being loyal and committed to my channel. Make sure y'all get y'all deck. <laughs> they still available. Get to my website, magicalflowerstarot.com. I love y'all, gang. If y'all have any more suggestions, please, please feel free to let me know. Ashe, until next time, stay protected, stay well.